Hey there, this is Betsy Veldman, and I am going to show you how to create glittered or sugar-coated backgrounds. To do this technique, you'll need a couple things. First of all, you'll need a spray adhesive. I like Craft Bond by Elmer's. And you will need a clear coat sealer. I'm using Krylon Crystal Clear. It's just a clear coat um, sealant. You can get it at any big box store. So I'm going to start off with white cardstock. I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Stamper Select cardstock, and I'm going to be doing some background stamping. I'm using that chevron pattern piece from the new Autumn Pattern Pieces stamp set, and I'm going to create kind of a contemporary looking background. I'm using Hibiscus Burst ink as well as a bright yellow. This is actually yo-yo um, yellow from Stampin' Up. I think it's actually a retired color. And then I'll be using Pure Poppy and uh, Hawaiian Shores also from Paper Tray. So my background is going to have a little bit more of a contemporary feel, but this technique would work well with just about any background you would want to create. It would work great with florals. Um, you could also play around with doing this technique on colored cardstock. I'm using white, but um, it might be really pretty as a tone on tone with the glitter over the top as well. So you could try that too. So I'm going to just continue with my background stamping. Okay, so my background stamping is finished. And before I move on to this next step, I'm going to make sure that all my ink pads are closed up. I don't want any stray um, spray adhesive going on my ink pads. So for this next step, I would recommend grabbing an old phone book to use as kind of a catch-all for the excess spray adhesive. Just give that a good shake, and I'm going to spray it so that I have a nice, even coat. Don't overdo it, but you want an even coat. And then you're going to want to move a little quickly here, close up that sticky phone book. And I'm going to pull out my glitter, and before I'm using um, Prisma Glitter from um, Palette, and before that adhesive gets too sticky, starts to dry, you want to get that glitter on there. And just shake it around until the entire piece is coated. kind of missing a little bit down here in the corner, so I'm going to just kind of press that into the excess glitter that's on my scrap paper. Make sure that the whole piece is evenly covered, and then I'm going to tip it upside down and just give it a few good taps to get rid of some of that excess glitter. Alright, it looks pretty good. Then get rid of this excess glitter, pour that back in my jar before I have glitter all over my scrap room. So do you ever worry about your recipient getting full of glitter when you give a card like this? Let me show you a few ways you can seal that glitter. My first step is I like to take a piece of clear um, acetate and a tool like a bone folder or a popsicle stick and put the clear acetate over the top and then just really with just kind of a nice even amount of pressure roll that um, bone folder or popsicle stick over the top and it just kind of works to pull off some of that excess glitter and also press the glitter that is in the adhesive press it firmly in the adhesive. Okay, so we're going to set that aside to dry for just a few minutes before we do our clear coat. Okay, we are back and our adhesive is completely dry. Only takes probably five minutes or so. I'm going to go back to my phone book and put that down as a catch-all here. And I'm going to coat my entire piece of cardstock with this clear coat sealer. This helps to really seal in that glitter. And the same is with the adhesive here. You don't want to overdo it, but you do want to get a nice even coat. 
it really kind of seals in that glitter and if you once it's dry you can brush over it with your fingers and you will get a few flakes of glitter but for the most part it stays put all right thanks for joining me and thanks for watching this quick and easy technique for creating glittered backgrounds i hope you're enjoying your sample fair day and we'll see you back here soon this has been betsy veldman for paper tray ink